on the sphere collider component let's check is trigger and I believe we're all done with that and go ahead and drag that character area trigger into your prefabs now we're gonna go one by one on our characters and drag that character area trigger on them if you know of a way faster than this please let me know I know if this was a ton of objects I would definitely write an editor script that would do this on a click of a button Back inside of our Toon Soldier, inside of the FSM, we're going to go back into the idle behavior tree. Now since we have a area collider, a trigger, we can go ahead and set that. Where it says use self, go ahead and check that and then grab the character area trigger underneath your Toon Soldier and drag it in there. Now as long as the hierarchy is the same on all your other characters, when this behavior tree is ran on them, it'll still work appropriately. It'll find that character area trigger that is a child of the parent. One thing I forgot to do is go back to your character area triggers and make sure to tag them as enemy since our check trigger is checking for enemy. And if you're thinking, how is this modular for checking for enemy? How are we gonna use this on a different character? we will set a variable for that tag that can be set from the FSM state or the blackboard variables. And of course, on our Toon Soldiers, we're gonna go ahead and mark those as player in the tag. After everything is set up, go ahead and click play. Grab your Toon Soldier and go ahead and wiggle him around so those colliders activate. In the blackboard section, You'll see that character area trigger. Go ahead and click on it since you don't know what character area trigger it is. So you can see where it is in the hierarchy. Is it the enemies? And if not, go ahead and check your tags again. In the idle walking, we're going to delete enemy found now because we no longer need it to log anything because we know it's working. Now we need it to set a boolean that the enemy was found. That way we can leave a state and enter the next finite state machine. On that set boolean, go ahead and click create new. Let's rename that enemy found or is enemy found. By default, that set boolean is already set to true, which is what we want. When it's set to true, the enemy is found. Now we're going to leave this state because that's our condition and go to the attack state or whatever the next state is. If I didn't show you before, click in the upper left. You can go back upward a level to our finite state machine. Now from the wire from idle walking to attack, double click on on finish. Let's assign a condition task, which is check boolean. We already have that boolean, set it to enemy found, and we want it to change when it is true. Do the same exact thing from attacking to idle walking. We want enemy found to be false because clearly if there's no enemy, we don't want to be attacking anymore. On the attacking state, let's go ahead and create a new nested behavior tree and call it attacking.